Hi, this is Igor with HDHead.com. Every so often I need to create an on-screen counter, whether it's a, some sort of a countdown or a uh, alarm clock or a time code window or something like that. Luckily, it's really easy to do that in Fusion. To get into the Fusion, again, I might be forming bad habits here, but I haven't really had time to look it up if this is the best and the only way to do it. What I've been doing is putting a black clip on the timeline, turning it into a compound clip, and then taking that into Fusion. If you have a better way, definitely stick with yours. All right, here we are in Fusion. I will drag and drop a Title Plus effect. This is our regular text tool. If you right click on the Style Text box, there's an option called Time Code, which gives us a time code counter, which is nice, but not very flexible. And yes, you can do a little more with this one than what you could do with regular Resolve or in Time Code window, but this is not what we're after. So I'm going to right click again and remove that time code window and we'll delete this leftover. So right click one more time, go to expression. In this expression field, I'm going to type in time, which is a function that returns the time code of your comp right here. We have frame zero and frame zero in the display. Let's blow it up so you can see that better. So if I push play, 18, 18. Cool. So far, so good. So we have a little counter that follows the frames. Well, let's say you need a countdown. This is obviously following the counter. Let's go to the end. So uh, the last frame is 119. So let's do this. It's very simple arithmetic. We'll go 119 minus time. Enter. So now, oh, I'm sorry, I typed in 199. What was it? 119. Okay. Push play and we're counting down all the way to zero. That's the last frame. Cool. Okay, but let's say you need to build digits for an alarm clock for the seconds display. Our regular time thing is just way too fast. What you can do is, if you divide it by your frame rate, and we are 23,976, but uh, 24 is close enough for this purpose. I'll say 24 and push play. It's essentially doing what we want, but it's calculating in floating point math, so uh, we get a lot of decimal points. So we can round it by using floor function. And now, the digits will change every full second. Not bad. But what happens if you need to start from six seconds in? Well, very simply, you offset this by plus six. Now you start from six. What about if you need to go real fast? That's easy too. Instead of dividing by 24, let's multiply with a constant like 99 and see how fast that gets. It's pretty fast. What about random numbers? For that, we can use the pseudo random number generator. I think it's random. And this is the range, let's say from 0 to 9. So these are randomly generated numbers with between 0 and 9. If you uh, need to make a some kind of a display, multi-digit display. It's very easy. I will select this text effect, copy to control C, paste it, and let's drag this here. That will create a new merge. In this merge we can just move that digit over there. Let's uh, let's do that one more time. And I will move this digit here, although probably stay consistent, I should move it there, but it's okay. Let's do it here. We're screwing something up, so this 5 is getting cut off, but it doesn't matter. It's just for the demonstration. So now we have three digits that are just randomly updating. All this is available right out on our timeline. It can be keyable, and you can also create a effects library fusion title preset out of something like this. I hope this may come in handy one day. Thank you for watching.